Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying with Jim Mashura. Today I'm going to tie the Kings River Caddis. The hook that I have in the vise, these, this is a Maruto D4, size 16. These are very sharp hooks. Get these from FrostyFly.com. I'm going to use some black thread. Actually, this is a white thread, but I'm just going to use the marker on the head when I get to wrapping the head. And we're going to start out by putting a base of thread on there. And we're going to I'm going to turn that upside down so I can get my fingers in there. And the body is going to be, I'm going to use Antron dubbing. And I'm going to make this the squirrel belly. This one here. It's a nice amber sort of, uh, like nice amber color. I'm going to put some wax on my thread first. Antron is not an easy uh, material to dub. You do have to get a little bit of moisture on your fingers or it's just going to slide. And we're going to make ourselves a skinny noodle. Well, we'll make that a little bit longer. There it goes. Here we go. You can see it's sliding all over. Go ahead and wrap this. Make a pudgy little body there. I don't want to go too far up there. I want to leave maybe almost two eye lengths from the eye of the hook. Caddis have short chubby bodies and their wing is almost twice the length of their body. Next material I have a turkey tail and I lacquered the turkey tail. You can see these three sections here I have already almost sized up got them pretty close I'm going to go ahead and take that bottom one and we're going to tie this in by the tip when you lacquer them you don't have to get a lot of uh, lacquer on the tip section but I'm just going to lay that right on top and I'm looking more because it's so long I'm looking more for the firm spot to tie it in at the, at the tips. That spot that's really going to hold. There we go. Now when we get that, we're going to pinch that and it's actually wrapped around giving it that tent shape. And we're going to secure that. There we go. This Kings River Caddis is a really slim profile. I'm going to go ahead and remove the excess from the front. I'm going to put a little bit of marker on there now. And there is the black thread. gonna wrap that in don't go too much because you don't want to build too much up when you put the hackle on now I'm going to trim that wing and I'm going to go in this direction so it, it will help make the appearance of two wings 
and make that almost twice the length of the body. There's our wing. Now I'm going to take my, this is a dark ginger. It's actually a Coachman Brown, but that's dark ginger. And we're going to prepare our feather by giving it the crew cut. And those little stubs will give the thread something to catch, to grab to. Trim that just a little bit more. And we're going to tie this in. And I'm going to leave just one or two of the stubby crew cut portion. And then leave your thread about in the middle. That will actually tell you when to stop wrapping your, your hackle. And I'm going to put my hackle pliers on. And we're going to wrap this. I'm going to get one more out of there if I could, if it doesn't slide down that little bit of a slope on me. There we go. And I'm going to tie this in. Remember, keep that hackle at the hackle, with, that are in the hackle pliers at that 90 degree angle from the hook shank. And then take care to keep your thread wraps right on top of each other. And that will help to prevent folding the hackle forward or tying the hackle forward and having some sticking out. I'm going to take my poke and snip and trim off that excess. Now I'm going to take my uh, half hitch tool and I'm just going to put the half hitch right up to the hackles themselves, slowly take them off. And what this is doing is actually helping to lock that hackle into position. Need a little bit more marker on the thread. I'll take my whip finish tool, that right in there. Yeah, pull that tight. And you could give it a couple whip finishes. I usually just do one. And give it the poke and snip. Yeah, put a little bit of head cement right on the head. And here we have the Kings River Caddis. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors and let them know that I sent you. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notify button so you can make sure that you get all my videos. If you'd like to purchase any flies from me, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym. And if you don't see it there, just sent, simply send me a message. I'll get right back to you, and we'll figure out what you're looking for and what you need. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.